All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got the Assassin Knives Argo here with me for a review. But hey, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this content. So let's check the size of this guy before jumping into the look, the sound and the feel, because this is a big boy, guys. This is a 8.75 inch long overall with a 4 inch long blade and a 4. Point, uh, what is it? 6. 4.7 uh, inch long handle. So it's a full size knife for sure. But let's see. Huh? What is this? Ontario Rad number two? Pfft, dwarfed. Ontario Rad number one? Let's see. The Ontario Rad, Rad, Rad number one is actually a tad smaller than the Argo. Very interesting. Uh, Spiderco Para 3 pfft, disappearing almost. Spiderco Para Military 2 smaller than this big boy. Another set. We've got large Sebenza regular by Chris Reeve knives, which is smaller than this. We've got small Sebenza regular by Chris Reeve knives again, kind of disappearing compared to this guy. And uh, another couple options uh, over here: Shirogorov uh, Neon Zero, also not doing it up against that and. Uh, this is the oops. This is his bigger brother. Uh, this is the Shirogorov F95 R Slim, which is uh, actually a probably the same size. Probably the same size. And look at this. I'm just kidding. It's it's still like an F95. Um, another couple. We've got uh, small TRM Neutron and his bigger brother, the TRM. Atom over here. Look at that. How they compare with this big, big boy over here. Another carbon fiber liner lock option. This is the Shirogorov F3NS. Really, really cool one. Another carbon fiber option and big boy. Also, you've got the Win Knives Yuchi over here. And what else can I show you? Another big boy over here. Look at this guy. This is the Custom Knife Factory Snafu 2.0 Peter Rassenti design. Unbelievable. Uh, beauty, another Peter Rassenti, why not? But this is a custom Peter Rassenti. This is the Nirvana Large 3.0. And this is another custom knife factory. Uh, Philippe Georget uh, 520 right over here. So you've got uh, an idea. And of course, since we're doing fancy stuff, look at this. This is Holt Bladeworks Spectre V3 Prestige in the house. And since we're doing nicely milled handles, why not? Steve Skiff Accomplice, of course, in the house. Another sm something smaller. Uh, uh, North Arm Knives Skaha, number two. And uh, also look at this. If you want to see how it makes... Uh, compared to uh, XM18 by Hinderer, there you have it. Or maybe you want to see it up to uh, the Rogers uh, Design OEM, there you go. Or you said you want to see uh, uh, Koenig Knives Arius, there you have a beautiful style 55. Okay, I'm going to show you one more small one. Diskin IDF Integral. Uh, frame lock titanium fantastic uh, little little guy right over here so uh, assassin knives uh, uh, Argo this is a big boy uh, it came uh, the, I need to thank my buddy uh, Guillaume for sending this guy in for a review it's a beast of a front flipper uh, if you can, uh, you can. Uh, if you want, you can uh, check out uh, my disassembled video because it's gonna show the guts of this guy. This is a custom knife, uh, uh, nicely made, uh, pretty good fit and finish. It's simply made. Also, um, it comes with a nice uh, wooden box. Uh, the scales are marb uh, shredded carbon fiber uh, over here. And they look like to be uh, suspended in some sort of resin kind of thing. And this is Alutex, uh, blue Alutex for the bolsters. Uh, the hardware is nicely flushed, uh, flushed with the, with the scales. And uh, there's some chamfering going on over here, and just a tad of chamfering going on on the inside. Um, 
the uh, this the, the handle is uh, a little bit thick. Look at that. I mean, for example, uh, compared to something uh, pretty pretty thin uh, like this guy over here, you get uh, you get the idea. So it's like. Uh, there's almost three knives, uh, uh, that's the TRM uh, Neutron, uh, so this is a thick one. Look at the liners, I mean this is kind of like a frame lock, not a liner lock, just uh, technically liner lock, but practically this is a frame lock. Look at these slabs, they are thick and not really chamfered, so that's why I'm saying it's quite simple in its uh, construction, but it feels good. Uh, the, the, really, the, it's, it's flush and it's nicely done. Um, it's, it's big, it's, uh, it's a little bit chunky and a little bit boxy in the hand, but uh, it's a good one. I like uh, I like the the um, backspacer, which is matching carbon fiber right over here. There's no uh, place for any lanyard hole uh, going on, but you have uh, uh, overall a nice uh, a nice one for sure. Uh, this guy is. Uh, uh, it's an interesting one for various reasons. I mean, this is one of the biggest front flipper in the game. Uh, there's some nice jimping going on over here. You don't have any uh, lock uh, face, uh, lock bar, uh, stainless steel insert, so you might encounter some uh, uh, lock stick, but you see there's a little bit, but if you add a little bit of um, uh, ox guard, you're gonna be able to get rid of that for sure. And um, uh, also, uh, you've got uh, some nice, nice action, which we're gonna check in a second. Hardware is nicely flushed, and I think this is uh, Mokume uh, Pivot, uh, I think. It looks like um, very very straightforward disassembly video uh, disassembly procedure. You can check my video. Just take this out, and you're gonna be pretty much good to go. You've got also a nice uh, um, sculpted uh, Timascus pocket clip with hidden hardware. Uh, hardware is right underneath that, and it's uh, it's looking very good. Uh, nice flaming uh, going on to reveal these beautiful colors. Uh, tip up carry only. It's not reversible not ambidextrous, and you've got uh, uh, your pretty cool um, blade uh, over here. This is a beast, M390 uh, steel. Nice, look at that shape. Basically, you've got kind of like 90% belly going on, satin finish, nice satin directional flats. Uh, you have uh, your sharpening choil, the thin, uh, the, the blade is pretty thin behind the edge. Um, not, I mean, not that thin because of the flats going on over here. Nice wedge. Um, I, lo I love the fact that it's a sterile looking blade, no billboarding going on. Flat grind, it's pretty cool. Uh, plunge grind is nicely done, uh, easily sharpenable, uh, so it's it's pretty cool. Um, also, what I what I really like is the sound of this guy. When you open it, like that, when you close it, Look at that. It bounces off like crazy just because I looped it, I tuned it. It's uh, it's really really looking good. So the sound it's beautiful when you close it like nice clinking, not too loud. I like it. When you open it, it's a it's a pretty deep cluck. Um so that's uh, that's also good. The weight it's not the best. It's over five uh, ounces, five point one, five point two ounces because there's no skeletonization. But in the hand, it's, it, there's no hot spots. I mean, it feels good. It feels a little bit boxy because it's not like perfectly rounded off or contoured. But it's uh, it's not that bad. Uh, there's some uh, functional jimping. I would have preferred this to be a little bit more deep to have a little bit more grip. But it's fine. You can uh, uh, reverse easily uh, the grip and do something like that. It's nice. This is the right angle um, shape for this area of the heel of the handle, so it's gonna feel good like that. Um, overall, the texture is uh, sleek. It's a little bit on the slippery side, kind of like super smooth. Uh, fit and finish is spot on. No bevels, no uh, lips, uh, no steps. It's flush. It feels good rubbing your finger like this because you don't feel anything. 
something that I'm not really a fan of is the uh, tension on the on this uh, pocket clip it's very very strong and also like the design you see it's very abrupt so when um, uh, going into the pocket it's going to be easier than coming out of the pocket so keep that in mind um, and yeah the retention is like very very spring tension is really really strong deployment speed is of course super fast there's um, a little bit of sharp uh, edge not sharp but pointy edge right over here so for example it's not as pleasant as this kind of flipper tab you see it's rounded off and the jimping is going around that here you have like a, a tip which is uh, more similar to this one but this one is more pleasant than this so there's just a little bit of uh, not finger soreness but you have to you see like if you tend to do this it's gonna dig in into your flesh a little bit uh, the action of course is super smooth running on bearings uh, very very nice detent strength is on the light side so it's a light detent uh, there's uh, no way you can uh, actually look at this you can actually lift the blade with your tip so it's a little bit exposed I mean you can touch it but you can even lift it but you need to jam your finger in it to uh, be able to achieve that so just keep that in mind no rattling when shaken so it's uh, it's well put together uh the lock release is pretty easy to uh to access because there's little cutouts but it's probably a little bit uh, too small um, there's some lock stick uh, that can happen so uh, you can use some graphite or some ox guard in order for you to prevent that but uh, the lack of um, a stainless steel insert uh, is probably causing this and maybe the geometry uh, not being perfectly uh, parallel it's also uh, the reason why there's a little bit of lock stick and uh, uh, of course, there's a, a nice uh, detent ball ramp which is going to facilitate this kind of uh, free fall and guillotine action. This is like, uh, look at that. This is like a guillotine, so uh, just be careful of that. Uh, detent suction is just very low, um, but overall, I mean, this is a, it's a pretty cool uh, one. There's some flaws um, in my opinion, like. Uh, the the lock stick would be the the most and the uh, hard tension for the uh, pocket clip but uh, the look is good it's it look it's looking pretty badass the action is very very good on bearings super smooth it's a little bit boxy on the handle um, I like the shape of the blade uh, and I really like the Alutex uh, it's giving a nice look to this guy and of course the packaging comes with a pretty cool. Uh, uh, wooden box uh, uh, and uh, overall I mean it, it's it's a nice knife but it has uh, a couple of flaws in my opinion so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching stay tuned